Hello YouTube, D. Badger here. So this is my uh, little machine shop model 7500, you know, Chinese, you know, 8x20 lathe. Uh, it is probably all the more lathe I'll ever really need. Uh, so far it has done everything I wanted to do, you know, with my added modifications and stuff. So the thing I want to talk about is lathe chucks. So it came with this little sand San Ao, whatever, uh, three inch chuck. Uh, I guess it's okay, you know, it's a starter chuck, but I quickly graduated past it. You know, w within, I don't know, <laughs> two months of having the lathe, I was already deeply disgusted with this chuck and wanted something better. So I did. So this is a Shars six inch chuck. And to make that work, well, that took a little bit of finagling, and I had to make all the parts with the three-inch chuck that came with the lathe, and well, that took time and finagling and stuff too to make that all work. Uh, but uh, what I ended up doing is this plate right here. Uh, this is part of the whole entire spindle assembly for the lathe. It's not something that's removable. It doesn't thread on. It's actually part of the whole entire shaft assembly. So you don't take it apart. <laughs> it, it is what it is. All you can do is bolt onto it, which is how that did. So that those uh, three bolt holes right there, uh, there is bolts in here that you can put it through there and bolt the three-jaw chuck on. And this inside shoulder right there is a registration shoulder so you can get the chuck on and you know be pretty close to concentric. So I had to duplicate that. Uh, the six inch chuck from Shars came with this adapter plate which was originally had a threaded center in it for a completely different lathe which I just machined off you know with that <clears throat> so that was kind of interesting making a six inch piece of steel fit in a three inch chuck was well not exactly straightforward I was constantly fiddling with, thing, th fiddling with things to make it all work but in the end I machined this and got it uh, to fit that shoulder that's on this piece right here on the back side and then I also machined a very nice shoulder to match up to again the registration shoulder that's inside the three jaw chuck and and then of course that all that bolts together so this was meant to go with this but it wasn't exactly a really good fit in fact the shoulder on this was a little bit too big for this they wouldn't go together so I had to rework that shoulder and while I was at it, you know, since I was mounting everything to the lathe, uh, once I had this piece cut uh, to fit, uh, what did I do with my little adapter thingy? There it is. So I needed to be able to duplicate this bolt pattern to here. So I made this. And again, that's got that same shoulder on it. So I flipped that over. That fits in there. And, of course, that also fits into the shoulder feature that's on here, and that, of course, fits into the shoulder feature that's on there. So I used this to duplicate this bolt pattern here onto this adapter plate so that those two could bolt together. And once those two were bolted together, well, then I could bolt this to that. Uh, this adapter plate for this chuck was originally designed for this chuck, so you know that was pretty straightforward. However, I don't want to be taking that off all the time uh, for this, a six inch four jaw chuck. Instead, I just want to build and bolt a chuck and bolt on another one and be good to go. So I had to add a few features, and I don't own a mill, but I do own a drill press with a rotary table so you can see that down there, things like that, and this has done a lot of milling. People think that you can't mill on a drill press. I'm going to say, you're wrong. <laughs> you can, and I have a lot. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so, yeah, I, I milled out uh, these slots so that I could put uh, socket head bolts in those to mount the four jaw chuck, and, you know, that's so I can use one single adapter plate for all the chucks. And then also, in the center of this thing, it has a, again, shoulder feature, for that because that's the same shoulder that's here so there is my collet chuck 
that uh, I got when I bought this lathe and I can put that same shoulder inside here which I have duplicated inside there bolt that down and then that's highly concentric so the ER32 collet will bolt right down to this adapter plate you know all I have to do is pull that off bolt it right down and then I can use the ER32 collet with whatever I want to do so that'll work super well I'm pretty happy with how this all turned out uh, the interesting part was getting this crappy three inch three jaw chuck <laughs> to make all the rest of the parts to be able to put all this together that was that was challenging that was difficult it was not fun took a lot of time to make this work but you know with care and slow deliberate process it finally got done and now this will never get used again I could I don't know what I'll do with it I'm keeping it because it'll probably have a home somewhere but I don't know what it is the three jaw six inch chuck from Shars is a significant improvement uh, as far as I can tell the lathe can't even tell it's there you know despite the greater spinning mass um, you know it spins up just fine I haven't had any problems with any kind of machining I've done on here uh, you know the deeper jaws and I have a reverse set of jaws for the thing too all this stuff has worked absolutely smashingly well and you know unbolt this and bolt that on and I'm good to go can't complain that's super nice